of Atlanta's crime could have been avoided if people had not pulled out guns during an argument. That's according to city leaders who are spelling out the actions they're taking to address everything from repeat offenders to street racing. Caitlin Ross spoke to the mayor and police chief today about your crime concerns and the city's solutions. Caitlin? Jennifer, the Rainbow Crosswalk has been all over the news lately. It was defaced two weeks in a row by people burning their tires in the center of it. Today, the mayor pointed to metal plates, cameras, and license plate readers at the intersection as new deterrents. The city says the burn marks are more than just a bad look, though. They're a tragedy waiting to happen. And I think that that's what people miss. It's the equivalent, it's literally the equivalent of someone just taking a weapon and firing it indiscriminately in the crowd. Just because you have not hit someone doesn't mean that you won't. Police Chief Rodney Bryant says they've increased targeted patrols on the weekends to catch street racers. Atlanta Mayor Andre Dickens says it's one of the city's top priorities. They should know now you should not come back and try this again because we have license plate readers that will track you down. They say stopping street racing goes hand in hand with reducing overall crime. At the start of the month, APD added a new unit targeting crime hotspots with a special emphasis on people who have already been arrested. Letting them know that we are watching them, giving our men and women on the street the resources to identify them better, giving the courts more information to convict them better. The chief says they want to increase visibility in Atlanta's public parks and shared spaces. We believe that these efforts will put more police resources back out on the street and make our, our community feel much safer. While they say they're trying to stop crime on the front end, APD leadership says too many people have illegal guns in Atlanta and they're often using weapons to end conflicts. APD says its own crime data shows 41% of the homicides in the city started as an argument that just got out of control. Even if we had cops on every street, some of these instances we would not be able to prevent. We need people to be human beings, treat one another with love and respect, put the guns down, and resolve these conflicts peacefully. The mayor, the police chief, the commander, they all said their biggest struggle is with repeat offenders in Atlanta. People who they arrest but then are let out on bond before the police report is even filed. Tonight at 6, a handful of people police say have a combined 500 arrests between them.